In this video, I'll be showing you five light colored GTK desktop themes for GNOME and Ubuntu. The install instructions are in the description below, but the way to change between themes is using Ubuntu Tweak or the Unity Tweak tool. That's the easiest way. So I'm starting here with the much talked about Numix theme, which goes for highlighting with a dark orange. It's got fairly plain breadcrumbs here on Nautilus. Right click menu is dark colored. Same as the rest of the menus up on the global menu bar. Volume control looks pretty similar to how it does in Ubuntu. And you can see we have the close, minimize, and maximize icons that go across to the global menu bar as well. So that's excellent. Previously typed addresses in Firefox, we have a light gray and the dark orange fonts. So that all looks very clear to read. And in LibreOffice Writer, you can see it all looks very nice and clear. That's the beauty of the light colored themes that we don't have the issues of the paper color being a complete contrast to the rest of the theme. So that is very nice, that one. The next one I'll be looking at is Kobe Bird. Once again, we have the fairly plain box shapes on the breadcrumbs trail in Nautilus. You can see the highlighting is a light blue. Close, minimize, and maximize, just sort of fairly plain buttons. But we can see we go across to the global menu bar, we can see they're darker for the dark colour on the global menu bar, I suppose you can say. So the grey that they've chosen doesn't seem to come out too well really because I've got this partial transparency enabled. I mean it's legible but if it was a bit darker it would be more legible. In Firefox you can see the font colours chosen are white and a light blue. LibreOffice Writer looks absolutely fine. And once again, we have the same right click menu as with the GTK3 applications. The next theme on the list is Zukitu. Now what you can see with this one, they've chosen a very light gray. Now for the global menu bar, that doesn't look particularly legible there for the icons. It's very difficult to see them. There's nothing special there about the selector on the volume control bar. Looks fairly plain. Once again, we have a fairly plain box shape for the breadcrumb trail in Nautilus, but that looks very wide boxes compared to other themes. But highlighting things is a light blue. I want to delve down a bit further into this breadcrumb trail because I'm not sure that looks quite right, does it? It just looks a bit odd there on the... Oh, I've got to open something up. Um, it just looks a bit odd there on the left-hand side. Anyway, you can see you've got rounded icons for the close, minimize, and maximize. And when it's enlarged, we can see that they're consistent in the global menu bar. So that's good. It's a very complete theme here in Ubuntu. Fonts chosen in Firefox are black and blue with a light background to the menu. Once again, all very clear and legible. And LibreOffice, yeah, that looks absolutely fine. Next icon theme we have is called Uncomplicated. You can see it has slightly Mac styled close, minimize, and maximize buttons there. And the breadcrumb trail in Nautilus is a little bit different than the other themes because we have a very rounded right hand box. The selected icons only highlighted there on the text, and it's a very light blue. Let's see, take a look at the menu. Well, that's a slightly darker blue on the selection on the menu. Volume selector doesn't look that special maximize that and you can see we have consistent close minimize maximize buttons in the global menu so I'm doing well on these light color themes the dark color themes are very few of them were actually correct there on the global menu the fonts here in Firefox are black and light color blue on a white background right click menus here are consistent the only thing that gets me about this theme is that the icons don't look that clear there in the global menu and then it looks a bit weird with the time being black and then everything else around there being a very light colour grey on a very light grey global menu bar. Hmm. Okay. And the final light colour theme I'm taking a look at here is the one from Linux Deepin. It's a little bit different from the other themes because you have a very light colour blue around the applications. So let's start with the breadcrumb trail in Nautilus. We can see that it's only the current folder that's highlighted. Let me take a look what it's like when you start browsing down into quite a few folders. So let's go into user and there. I don't know, you can still sort of see it, can't you? But so with the right click menu, ugh, it's almost a bit difficult to read that, isn't it? 
So we've got a dark grey writing on a light grey background with a light blue highlighting. What's the progress bar on the volume control look like? It's very bold there. Hmm. Right, in Firefox. Oh, we're missing the icons there for the close, minimize, and maximize. But I do have a way around that, which I'll be doing a video on at a later date. The previous city types addresses in Firefox. We have black and blue for the fonts on a light blue background. But that's still perfectly legible though. And for LibreOffice Writer, right click menu is a bit different to the others. Partially transparent, very pale there, and yeah, it's just a slightly different colour there, but it's not too alarmingly different. I'll tell you what's different though, the highlighting. It's, it's different between GTK3 and a GTK2 application. So let's look at five light colour GTK desktop themes for Ubuntu. Thanks for watching, see you later.